Hello and a welcome to Dumbbell Walk. Now again, I strongly recommend that you use a dumbbell that is weights one through three. Again, no need to go any higher than three. Also make sure you have some shoes because we're gonna be stepping, we're gonna be marching, and we're gonna be having a whole lot of fun. Let's start with just a nice crisscross of the arms to warm the body up. Get one arm on top, and then the other. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's grab those hips for hip circles. And three, two, one. Let's go other direction. For three, two, one. Excellent work, and let's bring it forward and backwards, good job. Let's bring it forward and backwards. One more time, forward and backwards. Excellent job, let's just go through a nice little shoulder circle to get those arms warmed up for the dumbbells. And we'll go three, two, one. Let's go other direction around. Excellent job, and we'll go three, two, one, and just bring those arms up to the side. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one, and back to those arm circles. Three, two, one, other direction. And three, two, one, bring it back to a nice little crisscross. And really getting these arms warmed up for today. We'll go three, two, one. And let's just start marching lightly in place, getting some blood flowing to those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's just go side to side, nice and gently. And still, just warming up the legs now. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to a nice march in place. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's go side to side again. Let's bring the arms up a little bit more. Five, four, three, Two, one, marching back in place. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one more time from side to side. Nice and big arms here. Five, four, three, two, one. And I want you to grab onto your dumbbells. Once you have your dumbbells, we're just gonna come into a nice, gentle march in place. And again, with these weights, you don't need to lift them super high. It's just to hold on to them, adding some extra calories as we go through this workout. Good work. And again, as we go through these moves, as you continue to work up the numbers, these workouts will become more challenging. They will be added in length. So again, start slow. There's no race to the end. Do what you can. Just keep marching here. Good work. This will bring that heart rate slightly higher. Job. And five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go from side to side with a pull. Good work. And remember to breathe. Just a light pull up with those arms. Work. And then light step. 
that. Be light on your feet. And this is very low impact. Three, two, one. We're going back to a march. Good work. Excellent job. Just put on a big happy smile. And the arms are just moving. You're just moving, working that body, burning calories. Three, two, one. We're gonna go slow curl. Control that motion. Again, this is balance. You don't have to lift your knees super high. The higher you lift it, the more you will be working your balance, but never do anything you don't feel comfortable with. Three, two, one, back to a march. Good work. Remember to breathe, just don't hold your breath. Excellent job. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go side to side with a sway. Work. Working those hips. Working those core muscles here. And also working the biceps and some of those back muscles. And this is a full body workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job bringing it back to a march. Keep your body moving. And I know those weights are starting to get heavy. Like I said, there is no reason to go too heavy. It's not gonna give you better results. It's only gonna injure you. Keep the weights light. That is the goal here, it's just moving. Three, two, one. Let's go side to side. We're just pushing those weights up. Excellent job. And again, light on your feet. Heart rate should be coming up now. Three, two, one. Let's go back to that march. And again, if at any point these workouts become too challenging, just start back over, start back through, keep going on number one. And it's, like I said, no race to get through them all. Slow and gradual progression is the goal. Three, two, one. We're going from side to side, pushing those weights out this time. Good work. And you don't have to push them all the way. Push them as far as you are comfortable. Engage your core, meaning tighten your stomach. Five, four, three, two, one. Go from side to side with a pull. Good work. And remember to breathe. Just a light pull up with those arms. Work. And then light, step, be light on your feet. And this is very low impact. Three, two, one. We're going back to a march. Good work. Excellent job. Put on a 
big happy smile in the arms are just moving we're just moving working that body burning calories three two one we're gonna go slow curl control that motion again this is balance you don't have to lift your knees super high the higher you lift it the more you will be working your balance but never do anything you don't feel comfortable with. Three, two, one, back to a march. Good work. And remember to breathe, just don't hold your breath. Excellent job. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go side to side with a sway. Work. Working those hips, working those core muscles here. And then also working the biceps and some of those back muscles. And this is a full body workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job bringing it back to a march. Keep your body moving. And I know those weights are starting to get heavy. Like I said, there is no reason to go too heavy not going to give you better results it's only going to injure you keep the weights light that is the goal here is just moving three two one let's go side to side we're just pushing those weights up excellent job and again light on your feet Heart rate should be coming up now. Three, two, one. Let's go back to that march. And again, if at any point these workouts become too challenging, just start back over, start back through, keep going on number one. And it's, like I said, no race to get through them all. Slow and gradual progression is the goal. Three, two, one. We're going from side to side, pushing those weights out this time. Good work. And you don't have to push them all the way. Push them as far as you are comfortable. Engage your core, meaning tighten your stomach. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to a march. And I know your heart rate is coming up. Keep pushing yourself. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going side to side. Both arms come up. Excellent job. Breathe. Just don't hold your breath. Keep it moving. Ten more seconds with this one. Four, three, two, one, back to the march. Again, excellent job. Let's go ahead and set down these dumbbells. 
once you have them set down, just come into a nice little march in place. And we will begin to cool the body down. Let's go three, two, one. Let's just crisscross those arms. And your arms should feel pretty light without those weights. And then we'll go three, two, one. Let's just bring the arms up to the side for three, two, one. Grab those hips, nice hip circles. Good work. Three, two, one. And other direction. Three, two, one, great work. Let's just go from side to side. You did an awesome job with that workout. You did terrific, super proud of you. Three, two, one. Let's grab the arm and pull it across the body. Look opposite of your fingers. We'll go three, two, one, let's switch, other side, pull it across the body, look opposite your fingers. Three, two, one, let's bring those feet together, let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's reach down towards those toes and hold. Three, two, one, deep breath in. Up, excellent job. Let's crisscross those arms again. We'll go three, two, one, and again. Wonderful job with that workout. Be sure to leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know how you did. You can also share these things inside of the private group if you love the workouts. Always share in there so I can see them. Other than that, have a great and a wonderful rest of your day. Great job getting through that workout. And as always, remember to keep it moving. So a lot of people always ask, why do my knees or my shoulders or my elbows always crack and pop and make all sorts of noise? Is it a reason for concern? And the reason is absolutely not. It's actually a good thing if your joints are cracking, it means you are moving, it means you are being active, and it's just some gas kind of being released from the joints. So again, it's nothing to be concerned about unless you have pain along with it. If like you are doing an exercise routine and you just feel it like cracking and moving, it's actually a good thing. So it means you are moving your body, you're releasing that gas from those joints. So again, nothing to be concerned about. Let me know in the comments below if you knew that already or if you learned something today. The most important thing is that you continue to exercise and you continue to move your body so your joints feel better. It's the only way to make your joints, especially your knees, your shoulders, your hips, actually feel better and be improved. Hopefully you learned something. Can't wait to see you next time. And as always, remember to keep it moving.